Hi, today we will look into association rule. Learning is another way to understand association, say, the products. There are two types of commonly used association rule learning. One is the a priori and another is the a lab. Let's begin with the a priori. A priori is one of the powerful algorithms to understand association among the products. Take an example of a supermarket where most of the person buys egg, also buys milk, and also buys the baking soda. Probably the reason is they want to bake a cake for New Year's Eve. So we can see there is an association between eggs, milk, as well as the baking soda. Now, after knowing such association, we can simply put all of the three things together in this shelf, and that definitely will increase our sales, isn't it? Let's load the data set. Here it is, our data set. If we filter out our data set to milk, we can see items sold with milk. This doesn't mean we can simply do the count and figure out the association of milk. It's simply not appropriate when it comes to multivariate analysis. Assume you have figured out the association of milk. People who buy milk also buy item 1, and item 3, and item 5 by just filtering and having done with time consuming count calculation. Now, what about the beer? People also buy beer, also buy milk and other products. Now, will you be able to find the association between the both? No. So, this is where association rule learning comes into the picture. It helps to find the hidden patterns like in this example, people who buy milk, egg and baking soda to bake the cake will also buy the beer and uh, snacks because probably there is a festival nearby. One of the commonly used example is the movie recommendation. Now let's see how can we apply a priori for a real life scenario like market basket analysis. We have this data set which contains purchase of each customer coming to the store. Before we apply a priori, we need to get familiar with three important parameters. Confidence, support, and the lift. Confidence is an indication of how often the rule has been found to be true, measures how often items in Y appear in transactions that contain X. Confidence, in other words, uh, transactions containing the item by total items. Example, number of movies the user seen by the total user watch list. Now, support refers to the transactions containing the item by total transactions. Fraction of transactions that contain an item set. 5 times 7 by 7,500 equals to 0.0046. That is a product that is purchased 5 times a day, 7 days in a week by total number of transactions. And lastly, the lift is the confidence by support. Refers the probability of likelihood the customers will buy milk, will also buy an egg, baking soda, and the beer from a random new sample of the population. So lift is the improvement over the original prediction. I will be using these few products. Then load the libraries, apply transactional encoder. Now this is how it looks like after applying the transactional encoder. Now we will apply a priori. Plug in the dataset DF with a minimum support equals 0.6 and use column names of course to show the, the names of the product. Here we are, our frequent items purchased. Now let's derive the rules. Plug in the frequent items with evaluation metric equals to confidence and the minimum threshold. The same we'll repeat this time. The evaluation metric we will set this time as lift. Now print the rules. Here we are. I have added a few notes out here about the confidence, support, and the lift. We can sort the rules and see in an orderly manner.
we can also view the optimal confidence and the support value using this plot. We can see our confidence level is high when we have around 0.60 support threshold. I have another example with online retail. Here it is. Create a separate basket for each countries and get the frequent items and plug it to the association rules function to get the rules. You can get this at my Git repo or my Kegel. Another quicker and simplified version of Apriori is the ECLAC. In ECLAC, we can only need the support and the minimum set of items, min, land equals to two. That is a minimum of at least two items that have been purchased together. That's it. Thanks for your time. I hope you will find this video useful. I have added all the resource link in my description. Thanks again. Bye.